about the AEAs. AEAs play a vital role in the education of our youth in Iowa, especially in rural area schools, where the rural schools can't really afford to hire their own full-time speech therapist or full-time occupational therapist, behavioral therapist, media specialist, professional training, mandatory training required by the state and the federal governments, and the list goes on and on. AEAs also serve non-public schools. Over a thousand students in non-public schools were served last year with IEPs, and thousands that don't have IEPs are also served. Interesting fact, AEAs serve those non-public school kids without any funding from the state. Last year, AEAs served non-public school kids to the tune of $11 million because the AEA mission is to serve Iowa kids, all Iowa kids, beginning at birth and going until high school. $11 million unfunded to the AEA. The AEA also serves 70,000 students with special needs across the entire state. 70,000 Iowa kids. Maybe some of them are your kids, or your grandkids, or your neighbor's kids. They serve kids from birth to high school. Several years ago, when there was a discussion, it was one of the first years I was here at the Capitol, there was a discussion about cutting the preschool program. A father showed up at one of my legislative forums and brought his young preschool boy with him. And they talked, he talked about how speech therapy in preschool was helping his son and how grateful he was. Well, that boy is now in high school and is a star student, just returning from a high school choir trip to Carnegie Hall in New York City. His parents are very proud of him and he's done quite well. AEA helped him get that start. They provide those services. AEAs are nonpartisan. They don't care what kids they're serving. They serve all kids. So they have been trying to work with the cuts that they have been given. When I taught, which was a few years ago, there was a speech therapist in our elementary building all the time, every day, helping kids. Now that same speech therapist travels from building to building to building. Not quite as good and not the best services they could be doing for kids. Since 2004, AEAs have taken a $7.5 million cut in the education budget every single year, including this year. Beginning in 2021, they also lost another $7.0 million cut in the standings bill, $15 million cut each year. This year, the standings bill cut is totally unacceptable, and I know many of you realize that. It's over $23 million. This is on top of the $7.0 million cut that they received earlier. Over $30 million were cutting our AEAs that serve rural Iowa. Does this body really want to cut the AEAs? Do we really want to cut their budget of over 30, to over $30 million this year? This cut will result in 8 to 10 loss of staff in every single AEA in our area. excuse me, in every single AEA in Iowa. My amendment moves to support AEAs and rural schools and Iowa kids. Instead of the $30 million cut to our vital services, this amendment takes out the $22 million plus cut and adds, instead of that, adds $4 million to the AEAs to use for rural schools. I welcome any comments. Is there a discussion that you recognize the gentleman from Des Moines, Representative Collins? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this bill, this amendment adds about another $26 million in spending. I'd ask the body to reject the amendment. Seeing no further discussion, the chair recognizes the lady from Cerro Gordo for closing comments on Amendment H1356. 
I am simply adding $4 million with our huge surplus. I think we can afford that for our AEAs instead of cutting their budget, which this bill is doing. I move my amendment and ask for a division and a record.